What is up, YouTube? We're back in another video. In this video, we're going to be going over the new market crash that happened and how we can go, like, wait, what filters you can do now because the market has crashed and what you have to start getting your cards for instead now. The 80 to 81 filter, the 80s have went down about 2,000 for the unfiltered price. They're down to 10,700 about. We have our 81s. Where are they? They are going to be down here somewhere for 12,650. Or 13,000, I guess, maybe you can say. What we want to be looking at right now. So, because we got cards for... Not that filter. Because we got cards going for 10,000. And, well, 10,700. Um, we're going to be getting our cards for under 9,600. Which means we probably want to get our cards for around 8,000. For 80s. And let's say for 81, let's go... So let's take they go for 13k. Okay. We want to probably be getting them for around 10k or less. So 8k and 10k. The way we're at, we're, at, we're in the filters cards is okay. We can do we can technically buy this too. That works right there. It's only a little bit of profit, but you guys have to take what you need to take. You can go for you can it's you can really choose your on how cheap you want to go. You can take that card you want, but you can also just wait. You can just you can just not you can pass in the card and take the next card that pops up. Like you don't have, you don't have, you can just go for whatever, how much profit you want to get per card. If you have a very low coin stacks, then you just, you can wait on some cards. You can wait until you get a, a bigger snipe. But right now, I I have I have inventory space. I can sell cards. So I'm just gonna take your profit, these small profits. Yes, thousand, two thousand profit. It's it is what it is. It's fine. I'll take it. It's profit. It's profit is profit in the game. It's all I care about. Especially because all the coins we've been losing recently on all these packs we've been opening. Do not open the packs. Packs are not worth it. They will never be worth it, really. But you want to go position by position. Sometimes you got to filter down. If you want to filter down by some like um, programs, you could. Like right here, for example, we see that um, there's a lot of cards up right now. Or 56 minutes, so we are actually over the time so we can search about ultimate alumni not really left tackle is not really going to work i don't think because the filter is barely flooded over at least that's what it looks like right now maybe right guard will work let's check right guard is in that regular filter never mind anyone like a quarterback this quarterback is, is quarterback flooded flooded quarterback is i mean sort of good legend work on this let's see Legends doesn't really filter down that much. We have do we have any 81s here? No. Maybe like I know we saw Marshall Falk for 8k. Maybe some legends work. Like if you go maybe like some legends. Maybe all maybe most of these filters actually do work. Just you want also a lot of these filters you're gonna have to filter down when content is. Like right here, 54 minutes. You have to filter down by either catalog or you can filter down by team if you want to. We got Miami over here for Ray Lewis, and there is nothing there. I I would prefer to just not do not do the legends because sort of my team is kind of annoying to do. We also we have an ultra alumni middle linebacker I know of. He's going for ten thousand. We want to get him for around eight. You you probably want to refresh the filter. Right, right like right there like right right like right there with the card for four thousand coins we can sell him back for a. Like ten six, make a few thousand profit. You and you take it. It's not bad. Pretty good profit. I'll take it. Four or five thousand profit. I think it's more around five k profit on that one. It's not that. It's pretty good profit. On, on one card, if you get a hundred. If you get not a hundred. If you if you get twenty of those cards in an hour, hundred k profit. Obviously, not gonna be, you're not, probably not gonna get twenty of them for. The cheapest possible price, but you could, and in, you, in theory, you could. And so that's what you're looking. You, like, you have some hours where you get a lot of cards that are cheap. You got some hours where you get none cards for cheap. This is how the game will work. The game sometimes, ju sometimes it's juice. Sometimes it's terrible. That's what happens in this game. Right here, we see we have 49 minutes. Instead of searching my team, I'm just gonna search up out of the catalog because. Searching by team is very annoying to be scrolling through. 
For this, you want to go into catalog, you can just click, click, click X on the card you're looking for. And when you're in the auction, you just click X, back out, it refreshes the filter. And it's just over and over again until you either want to stop doing this filter or you see a card. And then you can buy the card or whatever. Looks like it's not really working right now. It is very late. In the, it's very early or late, really what you want to call it. It's 4.30 a.m. for me. So, it's late. I don't know. I don't know what depends what you call it. But, there's not many people on the game right now, probably. If they are, they're probably some sweats playing some gauntlet. We're not really posting their cards. Never mind, there is a card here for 4400 right there. And that card was up for two hours. That card was up for two hours for a quick sell. That doesn't make any sense to me. Whatever. Okay, well, there's multiple cards up for quick sell apparently. In the last minute on this on this dude. Maybe we can get another one. Let's check. Also, we sold the card for that we bought for 250k. For we sold back for 290. A 10k profit on from last video. From just when I was just looking around on the auction house. Let's see. Can we get another one right here? No, we can't. So let's, let's do this two more times because it, there was a lot of them selling recently for very, very, very cheap prices. I'm going to expect that we don't see any more cards. Uh, last one right here. Then we're going to go over and check the A2A3s for you guys. Nope, we got nothing there. Let's go to the A2 to the A3 overall players. Make sure you guys understand about those. We go quickly. Wait for that to load. Go over to quality. Go over to A2, A3. Unfiltered prices for the A2s are going for around 24k. And we have, so you want, you want to get them for around 20k or less. Then you have your A3s that are going for around 31k, 30k, 29k. Let's go for around that. I don't know. Then you want to filter down by position by position and all stuff. You see this card? This market's really flooded right now. So you want to sort by, um, you sort by program, whatever you want to do. You see 21k right there. Not great. So sort by a different program. Comfort story is not a very good program to sort by, honestly. Legends. Nothing really there. There can, you can get you can get some A3 legends for cheap, and they do go for a little bit more. They go for around 46, 47k. So if you can get some of them for like 35k, you can buy them and sell them back for some profit. Or if they're like 40k, you can honestly keep them for as an investment if you want. It's a really good choice. But like there's all, a lot of legends. Like halfback works. All like all legends work really. On, like legends are there's a lot of legends in the market because people like opening that cheap legend roll right now. But you also look at like this halfback, you, the A3 Ultimate Lemon card go for like 57k, 58k unfiltered. So you want to be looking for those cards for around 50 or le I mean, around probably 45 to 50k, probably more around the 45k range. So you have some decent profits on the card. You have the card for 21k. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna pass on that one because I don't really like that number. We go down. We won first. We won for 52k. That's not worth. But that's not worth it. But I want you guys to do. You guys, you guys, just look around. Look around the market. Go position by position. You can go in programs and go position by position. We have a card right there for 18,000 coins. We're gonna quickly stag, snag it, and we're gonna go sell. I think it was for 24k. It was. Profit like three four thousand on the on that buy right there. Not bad profit. I'll I'll take it. I will take that profit every day. This one have an A three is not an A three. But what's interesting about this one is it has two cards on it. it is it is not flooded. It might be flooded a little bit. Like so, if you want to do that, you can obviously. If you want to search one by one, you can go in here. Click, go go in the catalog, click X on the card. Yeah, only show you that card. You'll see a couple more of him. The ones are like 10 hours, 11 hours, those later ones. It will be able to see. Same thing for this other dude. You see, you see some other cards that are actually there. On normal, like normally for you. But, 
I would recommend and one more field, one more thing I'm gonna go over is the 84 85s. 84 to 85 might be actually be they might actually start working pretty soon. Or maybe actually work now because the market freeze cuts have gone down so much. We have 84s going for 60,000 coins unfiltered. We have 85s going for around 90k unfiltered. What I what I'm gonna actually might try tonight. Oh, I don't know actually. Maybe Kendrick go for his price. Maybe goes for 90k. So let's check. Does he go for does he does go for 85k? That's actually kind of interesting. Like Mike Evans goes for 170. These cards might not might actually not be that bad to snipe maybe. Like you just go. Refresh people might post them for 140 100k you really don't know Or like honestly sniping some of these cards that are that get posted a lot is not a bad idea Like those champion cards like the a6 a6 in case you miss cards were getting posted so much and all that stuff I, I sniped two Derwins. I snapped a Derwin for 100k. I snapped a Derwin for 300k They're both I watch I, I sent both of them on stream so you can see that nobody posts them for me and I just I sniped them, made a lot of profit. It was a very, it was a very nice snipe. It was very nice snipes right there. But like, you can just sort by like just snipe ultimate alumni cards if you want. If you want, if you, I mean, it's not it's not get the fast method, but you could definitely do it. Nothing you can do. You would, you could sort. You could actually snipe. I know a lot of people, a lot of people like do this. Like they, you can't. Okay, some filters don't work anymore. Like this filter doesn't work anymore. But if you go like corner rack. You can snipe these cards, like snipe some cards. If you know the price of these cards, you can snipe them and repost them back. People really, 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 really like this filter. People love this filter. People love 8485's filters. I don't know how, I don't understand it, but people do it a lot. They make a lot, a lot of coins. If you guys want a guy that's like, that does this a lot, make sure you guys go watch Ijo. Ijo Bruin, he's a, he's a, a really, really good creator. He's a pretty awesome dude. He is a, he is, is like the king of this of this method of sniping 8045s and basically everything McCoy making in this game, honestly. But my favorite filter is gonna be the A to A ones because it's a very consistent filter. A to A threes are also still really good. I don't like 8485s just because I'm not like that. I'm not that type of person. I don't like I don't like sniping these cards, like. I don't. I don't understand the market yet. I don't understand the 8485 market. I don't really. I'm not really. I've not really um, looked at it a lot. I've not done a lot of research on this on this filter. Like other people have. But that's me. The end of this video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe. See you next time. Peace.